Now, this is the steps that we follow when we do an experiment. Colin, we've got a few minutes left, so quickly just go through. We need an aim. Yeah, so f um, if we can distinguish, if they ask you for an aim, an aim is not the hypothesis. An aim always starts with the words to, to investigate, to prove, to test something. So your aim, you have your aim, and then you must have a detailed plan of your method, a step by step, that is what's meant by detail. Then you must also look at your controls. Why is it that we set up a control? And you only, you see, to make it valid, we test one uh, a, a variable at a time, but you have your one independent variable, and look at the precautions that you have to yeah. take. And here we've got an, a short example. This researcher saw that potted plants covered with plastic bags didn't grow so well, so we asked a question, remember about your focus question, and then he stated an hypothesis. Light is essential for plant growth. Collins just said, your aim of your experiment is to determine. Then he did the experiment was when he put the plants in the greenhouse and the control is, remember, he's now testing whether light is necessary for plant growth or not. So your experiment test is light necessary. So your control must be the one that takes the light away. And uh, then the fixed variables, same soil, same amount of water, temperature, etc., to make it a fair and reliable test recorded the results, the length of the aerial plants, that's above the ground, and he put it in a table, and he did line graphs, and the results said that in the light, they grew taller, in the control, in the darkness, they remained the same size. So his conclusion, and the conclusion is light is essential for plant growth, and then you go and you see your hypothesis was correct, because the type of plant that you investigated was that light was necessary and it grew taller. Yeah. And we've talked about the crops mm -hmm. and where we yeah. put that. I think we've done that. Yeah. And we've run out of time too. But before we go, you can just give them a few tips on essay writing very quickly. Yes. Essay writing, the last question, you're definitely going to get an essay. So regardless of the topic, read carefully. And remember, it's your paper. Take your pencil or your pen, underline key words, underline action words. Do they want an explanation? Do they want examples? Do, what do they want? Um, plan your essay. Make a rough draft. And, and uh, we've said, read the topic thoroughly. Interpret and analyze. Write down the aspects. Decide on subheadings. Write in a logical manner. And please use paragraphs so that we poor markers can see where you start one thought and where you end another. 